So when we're talking about nutrient testing, we're talking about two different kinds of tests that we need to take in order to get a really full picture of what uh, you're dealing with in a vineyard. The first one is a petiole test. And the other one that we're going to talk about right now is a soil test. And it's exactly what it sounds like. We're testing the soil to see what kind of nutrients and what kind of the chemical composition of the soil is. One of the primary reasons we want to test our soils is to measure the soil pH. And that is a measure of how much acidity is in the soil. The soil pH has a big influence on the availability of all of the nutrients that the vine is trying to take up. If the soil pH is in the right place, it makes things a lot easier for the vines to take up the nutrients they need. So if we need to adjust soil pH, we need to know what it is starting with and what are some of the factors that will influence how we're going to adjust that pH to get it to the range that we want. Another reason is to learn what are the levels of macronutrients that are available in the soil. So macronutrients are things like potassium, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and nitrogen. Now a soil test can give you a really good sense of what those first four nutrients are, but with nitrogen, changes a lot in the soil. And so what a soil test will do instead, or any good soil test should do, is give you the percent organic matter in the soil. And that's really a measure of how much nitrogen can be supplied by the soils to the vine. Because organic matter will get broken down by microbes in the soil and will release nitrogen in forms that the plant can take up. You can also learn a little bit about micronutrient availability in the soil too. But micronutrients, which are things like iron and zinc and copper, are mostly influenced by the soil pH. Their availability to the plant is gonna depend on what the soil pH is. And so if you get your soil pH in the right spot, generally those micronutrients will be available to satisfy the vine's needs. So when we're planning out where to take samples from and how many that we need to take, that's really gonna be dictated by how much variation there is in the soils in your vineyard. And one of the ways you can find that out is by consulting a soil map. And if you look at a soil map, you can look at your vineyard block and see how many different types of soils there are in the vineyard. If you have four or five different types of soils, you probably should take four or five different soil samples in order to really understand what each of those soils content looks like. So you really wanna be able to capture the variation that's within your vineyard. So once you've decided how many samples you wanna take and where you're gonna take them, you just need to bring together a few tools in order to be able to actually take your samples. One of the tools you could use to do this is something that's designed for soil sampling called a soil probe. And this is one here. Basically all it is is a metal tube. Part of it is hollow near the end with an open space. And basically you drive this into the ground and the soil will move up into this barrel here and you remove the soil by digging it out with your finger and dump it into the bucket. It's a nice tool. The thing I don't like about it is that in vineyard situations we tend to have a lot of rocks. We tend to have some soil compaction and other things that can make it really hard to drive this into the ground. It can get really frustrating and really slow you down. And there are other tools that we have that are much easier to use. So I tend to not use one of these, so let's just get rid of this thing. For my money, the much easier way to collect soil samples is to just use one of these. Good old spade. It'll get through the soil really easily, and it's actually nice that the spade's about 10 inches long or so, which is about the depth of soil you want to dig into each, for each soil sample. So this is a nice easy way to measure how deep you need to go and spade will get through the soil much easier. So for each soil sample, we need to take about 10 to 15 subsamples. So we need to take 10 or 15 different samples from around the vineyard, mix them up in a bucket, and then we'll take one sample out of that. So for each of these subsamples, we just go around and we take a bit of soil. I've dug kind of an early hole about eight or nine inches down. And then I'm just gonna go right on the edge and just take a sliver right off the edge there, like that bring it right up so I've got a pretty good representation of everything. So here we got the sur surface soil and down about eight inches. Take out a couple of the twigs and things like that so that the lab is, they don't go to the lab. And into the bucket. So there's our first sample and we'll need to take about, like I said, 10 or 15 of these. And then we'll mix them all up and we'll get one sample out of that. So once we've collected our 10 to 12 sub samples, which I have here in the bucket, we just mix them up to kind of make sure that they're all blended together. And once we've done that, take out a couple of rocks that are left in there. We put them into our sample bag, and this is a particular kind of sampling bag, but you can just use a Ziploc bag. Um, and you don't need a lot, like a sandwich size bag is fine. Just a couple of cups, roughly, of soil into the sample bag should do it. So a couple of handfuls. About that much soil should be plenty. 
So this is one sample. And this is a sample from the surface eight inches, eight or 10 inches of soil. And if you're in an established vineyard, that's about, you'd only need to go to that top surface because it's really hard to try to change the chemistry of the soils beyond those top eight inches when you have a vineyard in place. If you're doing soil testing before you start a vineyard, you wanna take what are called both a surface sample, which is what we've done here, you also want to take a subsurface sample. So once you've taken those samples from the first eight inches, you really should take another sample from the next eight to 12 inches down because that's closer to where the root zone is going to be. Keep those two samples separate. And once you have them all, make sure you label them separately and send them off to the lab. And you should get recommendations back from the lab pretty quickly. So when you get those results back from the lab, they'll often come along with some recommendations on how to alleviate any problems that the lab might think there are in the, in the vineyard based on the results of the samples. When you're looking at those results, keep in mind that you should be looking at both the soil samples and results from petiole tests that you might have taken as well. You really need to have both sets, both soil tests and petiole tests, tissue tests of what's actually in the vine, in order to get a real sense of what the nutrient status of the vineyard is. Without those, you're only getting part of the picture.